In this tutorial we'll be creating this time jitter effect using After Effects. Okay, so just this cool little jitter part is what we're gonna be creating. And this is done using two simple keyframes and I'll show you how you can control that. Let's get into it. Okay, so with my clip selected here, I'm gonna add an effect called Slider Control. Now right click on your layer, Time, and enable Time Remapping. Now if I go to my stopwatch on the Time Remapping and Alt click it, I can type in Wiggle open bracket and let's type in 5 which is basically the frequency and I'll explain that in a bit comma and parent it to my slider control so now if I go ahead and increase my slider control I'm basically controlling the time of this clip so let's say I'm gonna set a keyframe here move one frame forward and set this to 5 let me bring these up and I can move a few frames here let me set another keyframe and set it back to 0 so if we play this back, you can see we get those crazy jitter time type of effect here. And if we decrease the slider control, so let's say 2 and maybe 3 here, then it goes back and forth a lot less. In our expression, this number basically defines the frequency. So if we set this higher, there's going to be a lot more jitters between the frames here. And if I set this to something like 2, I'm just going to get 1 or 2 between those two keyframes. Another cool effect I like to add using the same method is an exposure effect. So if I type in exposure here, I'll alt click my exposure stopwatch and I'll do the same thing, wiggle and we can set it to a bit higher, say 8, comma and I'm going to parent it to the same slider control. So now once I have those jitters happening, I also have some exposure effect, sort of like a flickering. And this is all for this type of effect. I use this quite often when I sync some clips and there's like a scratch or something in a track and it seems to fit pretty well and it's pretty easy to do. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.